Hi everyone, it's Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make a test cut and why making a test cut is really important each time you use a new material. And even if you did cut this material before, you might want to test it anyway because the wear of your blade might be different. You can check out my vlog for all the pros of making a test cut and all my tips on why and what I do. And now I'm going to show you two ways to adjust your cut. Note that this is a good test to do for vinyl because you want your cut to go through the vinyl but not through the backing or carrier sheet. Uh, we call this kind of cut a kiss cut. So for this test, I'm going to be using a simple letter. It is a Cricut Sand. This is the basic uh, font that Cricut has and that is free for everyone and I'm going to be writing a simple A. So this A, I'm going to be scaling it quite small, let's say about 0.3 inches uh, tall. So why I'm doing an A, let me just scale it so you see it very properly, it's just that the A has an angle cut and it has curves and it has a cut that is close to another cut and a little hole like this. This will be a good indication if you're going too heavy on your blade or not. You'll see why later. So uh, like I said, I'm scaling it like around 0.3. Now take a note that if you're doing a test cut for let's say leather or uh, balsa, you might want to use another shape, let's say a square, rectangle, because for balsa particularly, you'll need to have at least one pencil wide of material. So this is not a good test to do for that kind of uh, thick material. So let's go ahead and do, uh, I'll show you the test for vinyl, because this is really the one that uh, people don't want to mess up and just waste all this good and expensive vinyl <laughs> let's say it <laughs> so first uh, let i do the a and we're gonna hit make it and continue so we're gonna choose premium vinyl for our test and once your material is selected you'll this is the test we're gonna do we're gonna first test it with default second test it with more and then test it with less so once you've done it with default, you're going to come back to this window and go edit and just move your letter a little bit to the right. And don't forget to scroll down and hit done to make sure it, it is saved there. You can check it just to make sure. Yes, it is. So perfect. And we're going to go and make less pressure and more pressure to see the three difference. Now, my blade is pretty new, so it didn't really make any difference because the default uh, setting was perfect for me. But let's say your uh, setting was not good and default didn't work, less pressure didn't work, and more pressure didn't work, meaning the vinyl was still um, not coming off properly. So we'll go ahead and try the second method. So instead of selecting premium vinyl, we're going to go browse all material and we're going to go in material settings. It's in an alphabetical order, so it's pretty easy to find. We're going to go and find our premium vinyl and see what was the setting here. M-N-O-P premium vinyl. So the setting is at 107, uh, the pressure. So let's go and edit. And you're going to upgrade this setting like around 10. Honestly, it depends on the material. Um, the more and less that we did before uh, varies. So I'm not sure if it's 10 or it might be 20 for certain materials. So let's, I suggest that we start by 10. So let's go on to 117 and we go and hit save. Now you're gonna say, well, Natalie, you're changing my setting and I will never know what was the original setting. Well, once you go to edit again, you'll see you have a reset button. So this reset button will put back your premium vinyl to the first setting it, it was. So 
you could really just remember that your premium vinyl was 107 and go all the way to the bottom and add a new material and create your own. It's really up to you. So let's see, I do an edit and create my own material. When I want to create my own material, what I do is that I put an underscore before it. So I remember that I created that one and that it was one of my uh, material, my own materials. So let's say I just say vinyl. Sorry, <laughs> vinyl. And I go ahead and save and now I know it was 107, so I could go in 117. And this is staged off and it's the fine point blade. And you go ahead and save. So either way, it's good. But if you're using uh, always the same setting to cut your vinyl, and you know you're using premium vinyl and for once it doesn't cut so maybe in a month you won't remember that you had adjusted uh, you had made a new setting and you custom material of your own and you will go again to premium vinyl and you will try to cut and it won't work so that's why I, maybe you could just um, modify the premium vinyl and once you get a new blade you just start and reset the material so I think it could be pretty fine so let's see if we increase by 10 um, the, the setting of the vinyl and see if we can get the perfect cut so I've made a short test just to show you uh, what uh, can be done um, I've changed the pressure of the vinyl to the regular pressure the default pressure is 107 so this is the one I did I decreased it to show you that at 87 and then I increased it to 127 and then I went a little bit overboard and did 157. I could have gone uh, further that would have meant that it would have gone through the, the, the backing of the paper but it didn't. You see this one didn't go uh, to through the backing but it did displace the center of the A so meaning that uh, this is not a good setting. You don't want that happening. That means that the, the blade was pushing too hard on the vinyl. And the other three might be a possible option. Let's see what they do when I try to weed them. I like to do that in the corner, so it's easier to just remove it. Of course, this one is pretty easy. That one is not that bad too. And this one, the, the, the one with less pressure won't come up, off. So if you have something like that, this is not enough pressure. It will come up. If you just pull on it a bit, it will. But that's not what you want. You want it to go easy as like those two. So for me, the default pressure was pretty enough. And for the middle of the A that did it stay there See, it stayed there so let me let me remove this and not put some everywhere <laughs> okay and so this comes off pretty easily so the, the other one will probably come off too <laughs> very easily too so both of them are pretty good so I could stay with the, the default pressure for me, it would be very fine. And try to avoid, if you have anything that goes like this or like this, meaning maybe your blade is uh, too dull or it has uh, come to the end of its life. <laughs> and you should really either change your blade or increase your pressure. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that for your next project, you will be making a test cut. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I see you next time. Bye bye.